A day in the life of Mr. Big Mac, Corey, and it's freezing cold. I've never been more content in my entire life. I'd be careful what you trust them with. It's been emotional. Charge me 15 quid for that coffee and cake. But you don't go to McDonald's for a salad. If you're a data person, look away now. I have to have a think about this. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Artisan Electrics, where today we've got a variety of jobs. We're going to be shooting around, and it's freezing cold. You can feel our cameraman shaking, probably. We are in the Midlands, I think. I didn't actually know that people lived here. It's interesting. We are swapping this, first of all. So this is an Omi, which you've probably seen us install these before. Usually customers want these because they have the Agile tariffs, and these will follow and track the Agile tariffs. However, Recent things in England, recent world events, have meant energy prices are absolutely through the roof. So those tariffs are no longer very viable. The customer saying that they've basically just been charging the cap price of like 35p constantly all day. So it's actually not really worth having it. And the customer basically just wasn't that impressed with the functionality and software. So once a uh, hypervolt fitted, that's what we're here to do first of all. So you're probably used to seeing us install these. This is basically a pen fault detection unit, but we don't need that for the hypervolt. It's got all of this side of it built in. So I'll get rid of the little six amp control circuit and the contactor. And I'll probably just try and reuse this because I mean, this is a type B RCD, I think, and uh, 40 amp. So that should actually be perfect for what we're doing. With the hypervolt, we do need type A or type B RCD protection, but don't need the pen fault. So, I'll get that disconnected, take all of that out, and probably just use that as a double pole RCBO effectively. And then a customer service job. We installed a charger a little while back for a customer, made a video of it as well. They basically want the cable run adjusted slightly. They want it tighter to the wall, and we used SWA, and it's literally, because we can't go rear entry on the hypervolts. Um, I'll explain it when you see it, but we can't really adjust it any more than that but yeah we've got to go change that around and then what else have I got? I've got a survey. So it's a variety of jobs. In case anyone's wondering what this is, this is my Klein multi-bit I think it's called, something like that. And it's basically got loads of different socket attachments in one. So I think it's from 8 right up to 17 or 13 mil and uh, pretty fantastic just to keep in the bag if you want a proper grip. I just like big chunky handles on any screwdriver really and I think Klein, we need to get all the American chunky screwdrivers over here for the VDE rated. I just think they look wicked and I love the colours. It's our tool of the day though, you can find that link in the description below. Turkish and um, I was like oh it's a little bit pricey sort of like 15 quid for a meal but I thought you know it's like expensive for a lunch but it'll be all right little treat then they're like do you want coffee and cake like, yeah of course why not charge me 15 quid for that coffee and cake they didn't give me a price so it ended up being like an almost 40 pound lunch wasn't expecting it but it was very nice I've never been more content in my entire life and that includes everything I don't think if I had a child and it was a baby girl and I'm in the hospital holding them in my arms, I still don't think it'll compare to this moment. Sad really, I think I've peaked. I've peaked at 9.30 in October in Northampton somewhere at the age of 23, but it is what it is. Get some close up of that. I don't even care that the pack's all messed up. It's good, no? My heart will go on. Right, let's make this look a trifle neater, my dear. 
spin this around because waste not, want not. Put that gland at the bottom and now we're going to have two cables coming down here because of the power and also the data and the CT cable running underground through a duct back to the main head, um, which is a bit of a long run. And have two runs of conduit come down and then one EV Ultra come out the bottom and then I have to have another one actually, aren't I, for data. I have to have a think about this. get into that horrible time of year where you have a permanent drippy nose and cables really hard to work with again. Summertime this cable just strips a dream. The Doncaster cable is just like comes off no problem as soon as the temperature starts to get cold it just gets so brittle and up wrestling with it. Well I sometimes do if I'm doing a cable termination and it's super cold and really tricky I'll just get a heat lamp out just heat it up a little bit or even just with like soldering iron just heat it up a little bit quickly do the SWA gland strip it off before it cools down again otherwise yeah it's just horrible to work with because we've already got an existing feed here we're not running this all the way back we're using the old feed to the Omi that runs to there the 40 amp whatever it was feed and we've got a data connection that runs all the way back right underground the other side of his house I think it goes under the garden and round um, for for the CTs, for the grid monitoring. Oh, I've got something in my eye. And then the data, again, I'm gonna have to drill out another hole and do that one separately. So we're actually gonna have uh, three cables coming into it. The two in one, so we've got the EV Ultra. I'm gonna use the EV Ultra just for the CTs and the power. And then we've got the other one coming in for the data. We interrupt this electrical episode to um, show you this. The customer's just given me this dark berry drink. And I was saying how actually it is super delicious. Because it, I mean, it tastes so fake. It does not, does not taste natural in the slightest bit. But sometimes that's what you want. You don't go to McDonald's for a salad. So and when, you, when you're having a canned drink, you, you're not after fine, you know, like fine fresh fruit. You're after just a quick snap of flavor. And that's what that is. One of my favorite things is the slushies that they do in um, the cinema. But I've noticed they've stopped doing them now, probably because of Brexit. Um, <clears throat> but they now do them inside all the petrol stations, which is amazing. So I'm regularly stopping for petrol just to top up on my um, E numbers. So let's have a look inside here, what we got. So we've got this duct here, <coughs> which has got the cable coming up, supplying the garage. Not the biggest fan when people do it like that, to be honest. Technically inside a tool enclosure, the single insulated cable, but again, I'm just a bit rough. So I want to put this CT on the main tails coming in. So the main tails, I'm just going to connect it to the main one, coming straight out of the meter. So that will literally connect with the arrow going that way, just like that. And we've got this here, this external graded Cat, five, um, cat 6 actually. It's going all the way back to uh, the garage. So I'll just strip this back. And we're not actually using this for a data connection. So sorry, if you're a data person, look away now because you're about to see this cable get absolutely murdered by your standards. All this is doing is just telling the hypervolt exactly how much power is being pulled in by the property and then that will then stop it ever blowing the main fuse. I don't really want to cut those out because they're going to be useful later when you get solar and things. So I'm just going to bend those back and then I'm literally going to jelly crimp so where he goes. Anything will do the trick really. Use my white as my neutral or as my negative. I'm going to use black as my heart or positive. So connect that like so connect that out like so and then that should be all good to go so now I'm going to go grab a Wago box and neaten those up a little bit dress those in stick them all inside that
Right, so this is the Hypervolt. The customer specifically requested I keep this. He ordered it specifically. It doesn't quite line up, but I think he has a plan with it. And to be honest, looking at the thing that he designed for the uh, Omi to sit on, I think his plan, whatever it is, is going to be good. So I'm going to trust him. But that's all done. We've hardwired the internet on this one, just because you might as well, because the network panel is literally over there. I'll show you what I've done over here. We've got two conduits coming down here. We've got one coming down with power in it. These two coming down with the do data, the do datas, the data connections. You've got the Cat5 coming down the outside of the box there, poking out and through. And then we've got a EV Ultra just going poop pooping, popping through the wall there. And that is this job done. So now we're on to the next job. The next job, I'm gonna talk about it when we get there because you, you'll see. On the way to the other job, this job here, I've realized something really cool and I thought I wanted to share it with you. You know the Pringle holders that they provide with vans? You don't, you can actually use them to store drinks in there. How cool is that? So if you're driving along and you're thirsty, you can have quick access to your liquid. You don't have to, they're not just for Pringles. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd share that. Another revelation, um, cheese plowman sandwich is absolutely foul. And anyone who says it's their favorite sandwich, I would, pff, I'd be careful what you trust them with. Right, I'll show you the job. There's only two types of people I hate in this world. That's people that like cheese plowman sandwiches and people that dislike people and hate people for petty traits. Right, so I've already started unscrewing it. We did this job, you probably recognize it. Ruben came here and did it, which is why obviously we're back here fixing it now. It makes perfect sense. Do I, I might as well just end the explanation there. Ruben did it. No, he actually did a beautiful job in all fairness. This has all been running by him. However, the trouble is with SWA cable, there's only so much of a bending radius, well on any cable really. You can't really bend it too tight. And here, I was literally on the limit of how tight I could bend that cable to get it round and in. And he's having problems reeling up the charger onto it. He's finding that it's a bit too, um, it's a bit too in the way. So we've offered to come back and swap it for an EV Ultra NYYJ cable, which is, you can get a little bit more of a radius on it. So we'll probably drop this down or redrill the hole there. So it's a little bit tighter to together and we'll be able to wrap it up. And that'll be the problem solved. So it's just a quick one. So cue some time-lapse and jump cuts. No hacksaw, no problem. Okay. All right. Oh, I forgot to mention. This is also a warranty replacement of the Hypervolt itself. I think the Raspberry Pi board, the one of the little pins that hold it in place was damaged in transit or something. Because when we installed it, it was just slightly loose. But the customers just asked that that be swapped as well. So that is one of the other reasons why we're swapping it. So you got it. It was the video that everyone was asking for. Well, actually, I don't think anyone was actually asking for it per se, but a day in the life of Mr. Big Mac, Corey. I imagine it was probably sufficiently boring, exactly what you expected. It was pretty much faffing around with car chargers. And I've got another little job to do. I'm gonna see if I get time to be honest, it's already four o'clock. Both of these installs tend to end up taking a little while because I near enough did them from scratch. You know, I've rerun all that cable and that means I've had to retest everything as well. Um, because obviously now I've replaced the cable, that's a different reading. So I'm gonna have to do a new certificate. And that was the case on both of them because I made changes on both of them. So actually it's effectively like I've done two car charger installs today. So it's been quite a busy day, but it's been emotional. 
so I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. If you have any specific requests for videos, by the way guys, whether that's educational, whatever it is, whatever type of video, ask, put it in the comments below because uh, we're not mind readers. So if you want something, ask for it and we'll see what we can do. Max will work his magic and uh, make us look really good doing it. Or make us look like complete Muppets most of the time as well. Right, take care guys and I'll see you in the next one.